to another Siemens combustion control video on the LME5 system. My name is Alejandro Carrion and I am the Inside Sales for SEC Inc. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to address an actuator using the ATL52 display. Now, why do we need to address an actuator? The whole purpose is so that it can respond to the LME5 program settings. For example, home positioning, ignition, fuel curves, directional rotation, etc. Our LME5 actuators are universal which makes it easier to replace and commission in a safe, timely, and trouble-free manner. Addressing must be done for a new system and when an actuator is being replaced. When addressing an actuator using the left arrow key on the AZL52 display, scroll down to Parameters and Display and press Enter. Please note, uh, to enable the setting, you will be required to log in using the service level password. Scroll down to Access Serve, press Enter, and type in the password. Press enter. You will then scroll down to actuators and press enter on actuators. You will then press enter on addressing. And this will direct you to a list of actuators that the LMB5 can address. Select one of the actuators and press enter. One is going to be for air actuator, two for gas actuator, three for oil actuator, four, five, and six are going to be your auxiliary actuators. Now, if you're using an LMB52 and advanced FGR functions are needed, the FGR actuator must be addressed as the auxiliary 3 actuator. In this example, we will be using number 1, air actuator. Press enter and the AZL will serve as a guide through the rest of the configuration. Press enter and the display will direct you to press the red button on the selected actuator. This red button is located on the back of the actuator under the cover. In this example, we have already removed the back cover. but in order to do this, you will be loosening the three Phillips head screws on the back cover. You will then see a solid green LED light uh, that will be on when the actuator is powered and not addressed, and it will blink after it has been addressed. Now, one blink is going to be for air, two for, for gas, three blinks for oil, etc., etc. The green LED will blink based on the settings you select. For this example, we will be looking for one blink. Hold down the red button for about one second and release when you see the green LED blink once. The actuator is now addressed and communicating with the LMB5. Uh, one key point to take into consideration is that the uh, actuator can be wired and addressed in any, any order. Uh, now, the jumper you should be set to bus termination on the last device of the CAN bus DC chain configuration. The last device could be an actuator or a PLL module. Now, if for some reason you held that red button too long or addressed the wrong actuator, you can actually reset it by holding down the red button for approximately 10 seconds, which will then clear the actuator. So we're gonna press and hold down the, the red button for approximately 10 seconds. Now, once we see that green LED turn solid, we will then release. release and a solid green LED will confirm this request. It's that simple. This wraps up this video on how to address an actuator on the Elmi 5 system. If you have any additional questions, you can contact our tech support team or your Siemens account manager. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.